Do you hear that? Listen. That is the sound of nothing. <laughs> no action. No urgency. It's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> well, as we sit here in this beautiful venue uh, at the Stew at DePaul University, uh, you know what? Let, let's give it up for DePaul University, everybody. <laughs> Amazing work they're doing at this school. As we sit here in this venue, ice caps are melting around the world. And they're melting faster than they ever have. According to NASA, <laughs> Antarctica lost 148 billion tons of ice this year. Yeah, think about that next time you drink your iced mocha. Ah. <laughs> uh. Not to mention the Earth's rising temperatures, uh, the warming of the ocean, noise pollution, the air pollution, water pollution. I, I don't say these things to scare you. I really don't. I say these things to suggest a new approach, a groundbreaking approach. My name is Hugh G. Prick, and I'm the founder of Climate Transformation Alliance. Uh, we started our project in the summer of 2016 uh, when I was out snorkeling with some friends uh, off the coast of Mexico. Uh, my friend Campbell and I, uh, he, he's in the front row right there. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, buddy. You see, Campbell and I were out snorkeling uh, off the coast of Mexico and just exploring the beautiful ecosystems out there. And uh, if you've never been, I highly recommend it. But anyways, we're snorkeling, and I started following a school of fish. And um, and I, I, I look back, and um, Campbell isn't there. You see, Campbell got stuck that day. I found him 10 minutes later with a plastic six-pack ring around his neck. And if I hadn't gotten there in time, uh, well. <laughs> that little six-pack plastic ring was everything I needed to find my calling. So why am I telling you this? Well, uh, folks, we live in a sad world. Yeah. Sad world where not enough is being done and the little that is being done is moving far too slowly. Well, as founder of the Climate Transformation Alliance, or as we like to call it, CTA, uh, my team and I have been working tirelessly for months on several plans to transform this sad world into a better one. One that I am proud to pass along to my children. But first, <laughs> let's have a show of hands. Uh, how many of you drove here this morning? Uh, how many of you biked? Lovely, love to see it. Uh, how many of you teleported? <laughs> I love all the Star Trek nerds keeping their hands raised on that one. <laughs> it's, it's, it gets me every time. But as you can see, lots of cars. Uh, thousands of cars, trains, and planes guzzle their CO2 into the air. We dump our trash into the ocean and expect an out-of-sight, out-of-mind mentality to take care of the microplastics already present in our bodies. Then we slaughter animals, which hardly resemble animals anymore, to feed people who dissociate from the fact that they are indeed eating animals. In a world where there seems to be no solution for these overwhelming issues, the CTA has come up with a groundbreaking plan for the betterment, or lack thereof, of the planet. In short, I propose that we kill the Earth even faster. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. 
I think we can kill the Earth even faster. Now, I, I, I know this may be shocking to some of you, but here are the facts. According to Pew Research, done in the spring of 2018, 59% of Americans believe that climate change is a major threat, while 23% believe it to be a minor threat. And even worse, 16% of Americans do not see climate change as a threat at all. Well, the CTA is committed to converting that tricky 39% by any means necessary. And here's how we would start. The first phase, ocean. Well, you know, there's more plastic in the ocean than we are aware of, and rising ocean temperatures are increasing sea levels across the world. Now, what can we do about this? Massive ocean cleanup efforts? Ah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's a fair idea. It's a fair idea. But according to Vox News, only 1% of plastic in the ocean shows up in the oceanic garbage patches above water. That means the majority of plastic has sunk or is in microplastics. Now folks, I'll cut to the chase. Our solution to this would be the ultimate engineering challenge. Mega pipelines from every major city in the United States that directly deposit waste into the ocean. Well, this would create significant compromises to public health. I would argue that the ocean being compromised even further would be beneficial in the long run. On our current trajectory, we are not set up to survive. Yeah, to put this in more blatant terms, the sicker humans get, the fewer the number of humans will be consuming and using resources. Thank you. Mega pipelines to the ocean would create a beneficial ripple effect throughout the human species, both eradicating thousands of people while also raising awareness about the atrocious state of the blue planet. In addition, our studies have shown that the 39% of disbelieving Americans are almost entirely Republican or right-leaning. Resultingly, the CTA has made significant contributions to the Republican Party. No, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Hold your horses. Uh, because of our funding, we have built a sturdy relationship to their organizers and more importantly, their caterers. To raise awareness of microplastic consumption, we have ensured that every Republican national convention going forward will feature endless seafood options. Salmon, tuna, crab, shrimp, scallops, you name it. <laughs> Not only will this create a, a fishy aroma for partygoers, <laughs> but it will slowly deteriorate the bodies of a generation who deny the threat of climate change. The second phase, land. We're pretty bad neighbors, folks. I mean, over the past few hundred years, we have destroyed countless environments and ecosystems. Why? Because we love our oil fracking. We love our industrial plants and the depletion of natural resources. Most heartbreaking of all, the animals and species within those ecosystems cannot survive the multitude of threats facing their existence. Our solution, put the animals out of their misery. <laughs> I know, I know, but listen, the only animals that we truly need are cows, pigs, and chickens. If you're not one of the three, uh, you're kicked off the ark. <laughs> the CCA has begun investigating other species and has developed a sliding scale for their relevance to society. Several factors are considered here. Uh, nutritional value, resources required for survival, biological level, cuteness, of course. <laughs> Once an animal is deemed unfit for society moving forward, pipeline waste will be maneuvered to their ecosystem. Hunting licenses created, 
and other eradication methods will be approved. Oh, uh, don't worry though. <laughs> We're not coming for your cats and dogs yet. <laughs> yet. Some may call this alliance a joke. But to me, everyone gets what they want. Yeah. The 39% of ignorant Americans can fulfill their disbelief of climate change by killing the planet even more. While counterintuitive, this ensures that they see the detrimental effects their actions have on the planet. Moving climate change from an intangible crisis to a tangible crisis. Climate activists can lobby even harder for long-term policies, since our proposals will grant them massive data for their research. Big corporations can operate without restrictions and generate wealth to fuel recolonization efforts if the Earth happens to hit a breaking point. Thanks, Elon Musk. <laughs> So where do we go from here? Well, uh, Mars, if all goes downhill. <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, we save the Earth by killing it faster. So remember, next time you drive a car, idle for a bit. Next time you take a shower, Take an extra 10 minutes. <laughs> Help us create a worse world for the better. Thank you.